The order in which instructions are executed is very important. Most programming languages, processing included, will execute instructions in the order in which they are written. Say we want to draw two overlapping shapes, a rectangle and a circle, and we want the circle to appear on top of the rectangle. To achieve this, two things will need to happen. Firstly, the instruction drawing the circle needs to come after the instruction drawing the rectangle. Secondly, we need to ensure that the shapes overlap. To have shapes overlap, one needs to ensure that the coordinates and the sizes of the shapes are given in such a way that the drawn shapes are one on top of the other. To keep things simple, we will use one of the rectangle corners, let's say top left, as the center of the circle. So let's say we want to draw our rectangle at x equals to 40 and y equals to 50, and we want it to have a width of 60 and a height of 30. We will use again the rect function with the first two parameters as 40 and 50, representing the top left corner of the rectangle, and the next two parameters representing the width of 60 and the height of 30. Now to draw the circle. For this, we will use the ellipse function, keeping in mind that a circle is an ellipse with equal width and height. To draw our circle, we will give the ellipse function the first two parameters, the x and the y, of the top left corner of the rectangle, that is 40 and 50, and the width and height as both equal to 40. As we can see, the circle overlaps the rectangle. To be honest though, it's all looking a bit boring, with the circle and the rectangle both white. In the next section, we'll experiment a bit with colors. Let's say we want to draw a black rectangle overlapped by a white circle. Similar to before, we will need to draw the black rectangle first and then tell processing to draw a white circle. Telling processing to draw a shape of a particular color is done through two instructions. The first instruction will set the color that we want for the shape, while the second instruction will draw the shape as we've done before. Let's find out how to set the color of a shape. This is very easy in processing, as it has a function that defines the color that a shape will be filled with. The function is called fill, and it takes as a parameter a number from 0 to 255, where 0 represents black and 255 represents white. All the other numbers between 0 and 255 are various shades of grey, with the numbers closest to 0 being darker greys and the number closer to 255 being lighter. You might wonder why it is 255. This is because this is the largest number that can be represented by one byte in the computer's memory. Let's try it out by drawing the black rectangle. We'll first set the color of the rectangle to black or 0 by calling fill of 0. The next instruction draws the rectangle as we've done before, say starting at x equals to 40, y equals to 50, and with a width of 60 and a height of 30. Let's try to draw the same rectangle, but instead of making it black, we'll try to make it a light gray. For this, we will use as a parameter for the fill function a number closer to 255, let's say 220. Let's get back to our initial plan. We wanted to draw a black rectangle overlapped by a white circle. We'll use the same parameters as before in our first overlap exercise, x equals to 40 and y equals to 50, and the same width and height for the rectangle, and x equals to 40 and y equals to 50, and a width of 40 for the ellipse function. To draw our picture, we will first define the fill for the rectangle, that is black or zero, you got it, draw the rectangle, then define the fill for the circle, that is white, or 255, you got it, then draw the circle. If we want to disable the fill completely, then we will need to use a function that is called no fill. For example, if we want to draw a triangle without any fill on top of our previous shapes, we will ca call no fill and then draw our triangle. Okay, now it's time for you to give it a shot at writing some processing code. Remember that the order in which instructions are executed is important.